Welcome to the tea off. Ooh, 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 spill that tea, sis. This is how we like to start our show off. We like to spill some tea on some of our favorite athletes and the crazy situations they get themselves into. This week, we're going to be talking about Mark Walton. Are you familiar with Mark Walton, Demarcus? Don't think so. It doesn't ring a bell. Yeah, honestly, career gone way too soon. He's like 23 at the most right now. So Mark Walton, he was a homegrown star for the Hurricanes in college, had a productive college career, played three seasons. In 2016, he went nuts, had over 1,000 yards, 14 TDs. He then becomes a fourth-round pick for the Bengals in the 2018 draft. However, by 2019, he has been cut from the Bengals because he was arrested Three different times during the offseason after his first season Mm. on charges ranging from like possession of weed, misdemeanor battery, resisting an officer without violence. And the battery charge, I want to say, has been dropped. And there were some other more serious charges afterwards that also was dropped. But after he got arrested three times in that offseason, he then signed with the Dolphins. Of course, go to South Beach. Get out of trouble. He's from, yeah, he's actually from Florida. He's from the Miami area. So actually, that's probably the best place to get back into trouble. Uh, And then he gets suspended by the NFL after signing for four games because he violated the substance abuse policy at the time, uh, basically because of his arrest. And look, I have to start with how he got suspended. And like, this is big because the great story that's modern right now is the Pizza Hut story. It happened on like the 31st. But he gets suspended because he basically gets pulled over. They think he's driving under the influence, right? And what ends up happening is he gets out the car. They're like, get down, you know, basic procedure. Mm -hmm. He gets on the floor, pops back up and just books it, nigga. (laughs) You did not see that coming, did you? I did not. Yeah, he he gets on the floor like he's going to get down, but he's an NFL player. So, you know, he'd done the burpees before. He basically popped a burpee on the officer and took off. And then he gets to a fence. They tase him. He's like, ah, he's almost going down. He rips the taser out of him and then he keeps booking it and he gets away. Can I make a Freedom of Information Act request for this body cam footage? Does it exist? Yo, okay, so there is body cam footage, but it's super shitty because it's like in the middle of the night. You can barely see him. Uh, and for most of the time, the officer's actually, officer's actually running and try to keep up with him, and he has no fucking chance because this <laughs> nigga's an NFL running back. <laughs> most normal humans don't have a chance. Yeah, he has no fucking chance. This nigga's an NFL running back. But what ends up happening is they search his car. They find a bunch of weed. They find a concealed weapon with fully loaded clips. Like, yes, yes, yes. But the wep- the weapon is legally registered to him. So like, that's not a big deal. Besides the fact that he's driving recklessly, they believe that he was under the influence. They found a bunch of weed mm-hmm. of <laughs> in the car with the weapon, right? And he was speeding when they pulled him over. So, okay, this is crazy. But like, and okay. That's bad enough. It gets him suspended for four games, you know, the substance abuse policy. Now, that is this all happens within like three months of each other. He gets arrested three times and he ends up turning himself in eventually because, yes, you booked it and ran away from the police. But a niggas is going to recognize you. You're in the NFL. B, they have the car that you left it's your car <laughs> yeah <laughs> he didn't think this through he was obviously under the influence <laughs> so he turns himself in that all gets handled and then like a domestic violence thing comes up we're not going to talk about it a lot because for the most part when it comes up it he gets cut from the dolphins the charge later on gets dropped 
but by then he's already been cut. He was arrested three times before the domestic violence thing comes up. So no one takes a second, a third, sorry, third chance on him. Well, where there is smoke, there is fire. And there's too much going on around this guy to sign him. Just way too much. Agreed. Now we get to the 31st, way more recently. He's been out of the league for basically an entire calendar season, and he's still somehow making headlines. Now, this is crazy. He's arrested outside of a pizza hut. Okay. Do you want to guess what happened at said pizza hut? Did he fight somebody? Well, goddamn, Demarcus. <laughs> Just a lucky guess. If, can, I, can I get fight somebody for... For hundred dollars? <laughs> <laughs> well, you would be right. <laughs> you would be right. <laughs> so, how did this happen? He's ordering a pizza around midnight, right? But apparently, his exchange with the Pizza Hut worker does not go very well on the phone. He feels like he was quote unquote disrespected by one of the Pizza Hut employees, prompting him to, of course, do what? Get up. Get in his car and drive to the Pizza Hut. Probably very and walked in in an indignant fashion. I think the inside of the Pizza Hut surprisingly was closed at this time. Thank goodness. Because it's like midnight. Uh, And the first thing I'm like, hey, bro, Pizza Hut, really? Not that deep. But like Pizza Hut not even fucking good, nigga. No. He's obviously under the influence. We, we've, we've talked about this. Uh, so look. He goes over there immediately to confront the Pizza Hut worker. And the first thing on my mind is, this is the type of energy I want my girl to have when the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> this is the type of energy I want my girl to have when the restaurant person gets my order wrong. We sell on this shit on site. He gets there and they tell him that his order has been canceled. I imagine for you to get mad enough to go over to the Pizza Hut. You probably got into it with this nigga on the phone and he canceled your fucking order. He ain't having it with you. Right. But he gets there, finds out his order is canceled and immediately starts banging on the windows of the Pizza Hut. Try to bust the window open so he can get in there and fuck this nigga up at the Pizza Hut. What part of this is a good idea? Keep that same energy, nigga. I'm loving it so far. So, while trying to smash the window of the Pizza Hut, somebody is with him. Uh, basically, reports are kind of mixed. They're like, is it his brother? Is it his cousin? But basically, it's his man's. It's his, they, 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 most people are saying it's a relative. Regardless, he, he's there with his man's. Because like, at least his man's went to the Pizza Hut with him. And you know, I always say, be careful who you do dirt with. Mm-hmm. Mark Walton was actually very careful who he did dirt with. His man tries to stop him from busting open okay. the Pizza Hut window. He has he has someone in his corner that's actually hella good to him. It's like, bruh, you can't be doing this shit. You about to get arrested. Let's get out of here. Stop it. And this is where we get to, can I get a fight for 100, DeMarcus? He then beats his man's ass outside of the Pizza Hut for trying to stop him. <laughs> I cannot make this up. He did not fight a Pizza Hut worker. He fought his man for trying to stop him from busting open the Pizza Hut window. Now, you were a fan of Chappelle's show. Of course. Do you remember the skit called Keep it, When Keeping It Real Goes Wrong? Yes. This, this is, is a- that. This yes. is that. He needs to come back and he needs to have this sketch be on his new first episode before his show. Because this is exactly that. It is. Friend kept it kept it pretty real. He's like, yo, man, I'm here for you. Right. I'm I'm trying to be a good friend by stopping you from getting into trouble. Again. Again. For Again. The, like the fifth time. Yes. And he fights the friend. He beats his he don't fight him. He beats his ass, nigga. Like, police show up on the scenes, see the friend. And call the paramedics for the friend. Yes, he didn't just fight. He beats niggas ass, bro. Well, I assume the guy is in pretty good shape. Well, as we said, he's an NFL running back. Yes, and he beats the fuck out of his man's. So this is this is all types of terrible, right? And the police are like, "Yo, what happened to you? How did you get injured?" Man is solid. He don't say shit. Oh. 
there are witnesses that see this happening and tell police what happened, etc. His man's is solid. Don't say shit. So they book him for like disorderly conduct, etc. Right. So it could have been way worse. I don't know if I'm that solid, bro. No, no. Like, I, I want to believe I am. But if I stop you from doing some stupid ass shit and you beat my ass to the point where niggas have not to call cool no more. the paramedics on me. not cool no more. Because I tried to be your boy and, and you fucked me. He fucked you up. <laughs> so, no, we're not cool. Yo, I don't know if I'm ever going to be that solid in my life, bro. Like, uh, but I, I truly hope I am. But regardless, his man's refused to flip on him. The police booking for disorderly conduct and like trespassing. And that's basically the end of the story. Maybe man's devout Christian, you know, turn the other cheek. Who knows? Nigga, I got to give my lick back at the very least. <laughs> I got to be waiting for you when you get home. In the dark, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I'm waiting for you to call my phone for bail, and I act like I ain't got it, nigga. <laughs> but that was your tee-off. Ooh, 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 spit that tea, sis. <laughs>